It's flat out of it, everybody. <laughs> okay, so we're recording. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so guys, um, a lot of your fans over on social media, especially on Patreon, uh, have been watching your vlogs or video vlogs of your mm -hmm. recent <laughs> visit to Los Angeles, Fear Studio, and a bit of it, your experience. I know you guys were uh, overwhelmed and tired at some of it, so what do you say we go uh, through some of those experience in a more detailed video? Yes. Sure. Cool. So, um, when you first met Francesco and Craig, that was back in January when you guys went to NAM. Mm -hmm. And you talked about the possibility of working together and then visited Sphere Studios. What were your feelings and then what were your expectations before arriving to work with them? Okay. Well, I mean, when we... We got a pretty good impression of them. They were yes. really nice. And of the studio, of course. The we studio were like, was... We were pretty impressed. <sighs> yeah. And uh, I think that we were pretty... Well, at least I was pretty excited about going yeah. there. Yeah. Kind of nervous, it. extremely nervous. Actually, it was like, but really, really excited to actually be. I guess to work. we were kind of nervous because on the first album, we've got some experience in a studio, so we knew it was gonna be a different process. Because last album, we worked with Jake, and he knows us like super well. We know him; he's part of, like actually family. So when like working with. Francesco yeah. and Craig was very different for us because we, we didn't, didn't know, know them that well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They just didn't met, know us. Basically. So they we actually have had no idea what it will be like to work. Yeah, so the first days were basically other. getting to know how we work, et cetera, et cetera. And our et cetera. different work ethics. <laughs> yes. I mean but, in the end it was still staying true to ourselves. what we wanted. Mm -hmm. But I mean it was different. Yeah. Hearing yes. Like working with other people new... who had different like points of view of stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Plus, at first we kind of did struggle a little bit. We like, did yeah, struggle we did. to have an open mind because we were so in love with what we had originally done. had. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, Larry King called it what was the the word demoitis or something like that. Yeah, it was, was that. like. And yeah, that's totally true. Yeah, that happens because you're so used to hearing it that one way. Because the three songs that we went to record. We they were pretty seeing, old. I mean, yeah. Dull Knives. It's from it's like from basically a year ago, two years ago. I mean, they're they're old songs. Yeah, we have a lot of songs. So we have been listening to a very long time. So going to work on them, then somebody telling you like they really change. want to change it. Mm. And at first it's like, mm, yeah. but I think that the changes that happened to the songs Work were really for, for the, the best. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They, they they worked really well in the end. And I, I think love we're, it. I think yeah. I, love it. I I love them more than they yeah. were before, which is. Actually, that, like, that was the whole that, point. Yeah. <laughs> to, for them to be better than they used to be. Mm -hmm. To take it to that next level. And I think we mm -hmm. did reach that. Yeah. They're, I think mm -hmm. they're Although we good. did have to like stand our ground for some... Yeah, uh, for some stuff. For yeah. some stuff. Because in the end, <laughs> yes. it's still us. Yes, us. And yeah, like our ideas really. and their, their ideas. Yes. We, it, it's like a blend. Them out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we do enjoy it. Yeah. But it it was still a different experience because we're in a different place in a different environment that we've never really been in before. Because I mean, yeah. it's a different country, etc. Like here, we could just like communicate very easily. But over mm -hmm. there, I mean, there's still that language barrier sometimes. But I think that we worked really well. Mm -hmm. Plus, it was our first time with techs, like in our own. Oh yeah, we oh, had yeah. Like, like we had a drum tech, uh -huh. so a guitar, guitar tech, tech, and well, Francesco. Yeah, Francesco, Francesco was with the, the basic, 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 basic. Yes. Like, yeah. But yes. I mean that was pretty fun, mm -hmm. but it was pretty interesting because you, you could see how the other people were like the techs were working, and you could basically just like learn from what they were doing, and I think that's like, it's amazing all the work that's behind not just what we are playing but the sound, sound and everything. I mean you have no idea how many times I had to change the snare drum. That was why we basically took. So I mean long. I could have recorded the three songs in one day, but it was that. Drum. The we had to get the right sound and we exactly kind of, the right yeah sound. and it's not that it was sounding bad but it just it could sound better, better yeah. mm. and uh, the and I had to tune like we had to tune it a lot of times so it could be on tune yeah. with the song Danny I mean and I don't think we have we're like done playing that live mm -hmm. and we're yeah, like right there they were like changing it and changing it like mm. 
And actually, uh, we did some tracks with a baritone guitar. To tune that thing was like, we actually had to make, well, the REM, the guitar tech, had to make a, a specific set of sizes of guitar strings for it to like stay in. Yeah, he did a mix of I don't know how many guitar strings. <laughs> the bass was easier, yeah. It was just yes. one bass. Like, Francesco took it to his bass tech, basically, mm -hmm. who changed the... The strings. the strings and everything and prepared it and then I just recorded with that. That that was easier than yours. <laughs> yeah. Was there uh stress or even like uh were you guys nervous? Kinda like when you're presenting a final exam is like is it gonna be good enough and, and are yeah. we gonna be oh, yeah. able to oh, yeah. do it of in time? We did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it was, it was like... worse than a final exam. Yeah. I mean, cause no. <laughs> the I mean these songs you're are like playing. your babies and then you're just mm. like throwing them there into the lion's den. It's like and in performance, also, I think, well, I got kind of like, because really these nervous. are professionals. And they were with so many you, like... people. And you're like, <laughs> they have very, like, high, high standards. High standards. Mm -hmm. ex as, yeah, exactly. So you start playing, like, am I good enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I and, good enough? Yeah, exactly. Yep. And, but I think that we worked really well. Mm -hmm. I think we, the flow was like very well. We yeah. worked quickly. Actually, uh, yes, but still like recording uh, guitars for me was a little bit of like a wake up call, you know, like, like to realize that I still have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do and to clean up. Um, especially I got to work with uh, Osvaldo. Uh -huh. Osvaldo, I don't know his last name. Didio. The Dio. Oh, well, but, <laughs> he's Italian. <laughs> and he is such an amazing guitar player. Like, I, I really can't believe it. And he plays all sorts of stuff. And he, like, really understands when we, like, I don't know. He understands. Uh, and watching him play was really kind of, like, an inspiration to me. And I really would like to, like be like him someday he's an awesome awesome guitar player he has like the cleanest technique ever and honestly i did that i like at least for me it was also a wake up, wake up call because i mean i noticed things that i have to work on francesco told me things i have to work on i yes. mean it was like people actually told you right to your face like this is wrong mm -hmm. so it's just like and there's no sugar recording it's like it's wrong so it's basically <laughs> now that we're back here it's just like yeah. i seriously need to work on that then yeah. And, uh, but I think that's great because we can actually come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, like, like basically the last thing Francesco told right to me it. was like, he gave me like a bunch of picks and he was like, you need to work. Like, <laughs> how to play with pick. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah, because you're totally yeah. not used to it. Oh, uh, yes. Well, that's really cool. I mean, I, I got to see most of your experience and I, I saw you grow hour by hour with those experience. Even tips like, you know, how to sit and how to set up your drums or, <laughs> you know, what kind of shoes are better to, you know, to use with your drums and how to hold your guitar or mm -hmm. even the pick situation that was really cool. Oh, yeah. And um, and then all three of you got to work with Larry King as a vocal producer and that was pretty mind-blowing as well. So what did he you guys... He was amazing. <laughs> It was really, really cool. Yes. We actually ha got to learn a lot from yeah. him, too. It was like... Because, I mean, we know a lot about our mm -hmm. instruments, but when it comes to, like, vocals, I mean... We're kind of like... Mm -hmm. It's not like we were natural-born singers. We're just like, yeah, yeah, we have amazing voices. You know I mean? No. I don't... If you hear recording from myself, like, four years ago, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we really have had to work on our vocals mm -hmm. and having Larry King there like coaching us for like the recordings it was it, it was, was amazing like, yeah you noticed, especially like, every single yes thing. like he Danny, saw right through our like, weak points let's yes say. habits and stuff like exactly. that exactly like like stuff, stuff that we know yeah. like stuff that we know that we do wrong that we're trying to fix he's like try to do this like I noticed that you do this mm -hmm. and that and we're like oh wow it was a very <laughs> like helpful yeah, and he was yeah. very blunt, but also like very oh, nice. Yeah. You know, yeah. he would say, you know, don't take it to your nose, don't nasal, and or breathe this way, or Honestly, drop your we, jaw, mm -hmm, or uh, you know, harmonize it. I yes. think it was pretty enlightening for that, all of you guys. That was something like I've never noticed. Like he said, you're too tight-lipped, and I was, and he was right. Like I don't, 
open like, my mouth that much when I'm singing. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think it was very helpful. And about yeah. the blunt thing, I think that everybody that we worked with was like really? extremely blunt. Right to the point. Yeah. And sometimes it wasn't like, like, I mean, we're not used to that most of the time. So it was kind of like, you know what? But like, I mean, that is how like things should be. Yeah. So, but even though at first it was like, whoa, then yeah. it just became like a normal thing. We're like, okay, then you just need to work on that. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah, like, yeah. don't take things personally and just like do it. Yes. So I think we learned a lot about that yeah. too. Yes. And in the end pretty happy to be back home after all that time yes. sleeping and <laughs> living in in the sphere quarters i literally got home like straight to bed like like yeah yeah we're like, house, my my bed. Bed. it's just that we were how do you say literas bunk beds okay we were sleeping in bunk beds yes. and like we had the ceiling right here <laughs> I, I hit myself in the head like two thousand yeah. times and that wasn't that wasn't that much of a problem the room was really small for five I know, but it's just studio life. For five, <laughs> like, it was like small for five people, but it was actually like, it was comfy. Like, yes, and yes it was. It was like, really comfy. I was able to sleep. Yeah, no, like, I slept well too. Mm. I mean, because we were like, at the end of the day, we were really extremely yeah. tired by the time, because we worked from like morning to night. Yeah, so we, we arrived there, it was just like, oh, was, yes. There was one time we got to sleep like at 2 a.m. or something like that. We it was like 3 a.m. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so we were, yeah, we're really like, No, it was a little song. It was... It was... It was... It was the last... It was... <laughs> we know which song we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was that song. We finished it. was the last it. recording. It was no, it was not the last recording. But the thing is, we couldn't uh, leave it for the next day because our, like, voices changed from day to day. So we had to, like, to finish, finish that, that, finish that day. Day. Even like what to eat, what not to oh, eat. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. When we were recording vocals. It was like you can't eat what like was sugar, it? sugar or dairy. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, like, and I couldn't eat if I, like if I could eat no sugar, no dairy. But still, I couldn't eat between like, takes. Like, I mean, we takes. had to take a whole break. Like right now, you can't eat, and then we had to wait a little bit of time. Wait a little bit for like, yeah, so, and then like, they were like, <laughs> you look tired, like. Jumping jacks and really, like, <laughs> you had to jump. Really. It actually helped. It, it, it helped really a lot. did. But, but yeah, it, it was a it. cool experience. It was cool. And a lot of your fans are asking, uh, did you record three songs? Is there going to be an EP? So you finished this experience. Uh, what What's the plan? Okay, we we recorded three songs only just three. this time. Three, 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 three. But of course, that's not going to be just like that it's we're gonna record album. more <laughs> um we hope we get to do it at sphere studios again okay. yes we want to go years. back there i think that's the plan actually um but yeah let's see how that turns out yeah exactly very cool anything else you guys want to add i know uh you had a break in between playing for the killers mm -hmm. and that was pretty cool and it also helped to, to get that little break and yeah, yeah, yeah exactly and come back yeah, home for a couple of days a break. Yeah. Yeah. yes the only thing that I kind of like miss, like we kind of like delayed the guitars, and I was so excited to get to guitars. <laughs> but yeah, we got back, and so I mean, the, the Killers was awesome, and yeah, it was it was basically <laughs> the break from recording, and uh, and then we went back and it was like straight back to work. Mm -hmm. But I think that it was like a very good experience yeah. overall. Cool. And we you... had a van. <laughs> yeah, we had a van. Did you guys take a picture with a van? <laughs> no, no, we did not. We forgot to take the picture. We were all with asleep the van. inside. So we're like inside, we have a couple of pictures. We were like at one a.m. at the oh, airport. Oh yeah, like... it was late, and we we were not gonna take a picture like, with our. Yeah, we were the van <laughs> asleep. So in the end, Sorry. you would say that um, you come back home as. Uh, better artists, better yes. musicians. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe with the idea of what, like, of what to do to not yeah, with a goal, yeah. with yeah, a new exactly. goal, and with new experiences and new knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Knowledge. Like knowledge. now we know what knowledge. things we need to improve to be better artists. That. Well, very cool. Well, thanks for this little interview. I know your fans will. Enjoy it, and we're gonna keep on vlogging. <laughs> if uh, you can call that vlogging, yeah. okay. okay, we'll practice that too. <laughs> yeah, get some more experience. So, thank you very much. Bye. Ciao.